I, I found out about you guys, um, the Varel's Bridge Society, through Christorinc.com. Okay, so mm -hmm. they, they talk about the Varel's Bridge Society, and I went down the rabbit hole on that, and I noticed that, okay, so you told me earlier, right now you're broadcasting what, from the Green Bridge? Aye, from the Green Bridge, so everything's crazy. Yeah. So what I noticed, um, what I noticed is they, they talk about color symbology, and I want to know... Do the do these certain aspects of each of those colors correlate to the various bridges that are out there? The blue bridge, the green bridge, the red bridge. Do those primarily, correlate? Yes, yes. So primarily, we have been able to track uh, our differences through uh, the San Francisco Bridge. In fact, in our dimension, our San Francisco Bridge is painted green. Mm. Which is it's a it's a lovely uh, I believe it's like a, a a pine green sort of sort of something Christmas tree green. Uh, in your dimension, where you are uh, currently broadcasting from, which is the red dimension, you of course have the red San Francisco Bridge. Everyone knows the red San Francisco Bridge as 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 you your bridge would know it. And then in the blue bridge, uh, of course, uh, they have a blue San Francisco Bridge. Uh, so it's 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 quite extraordinary to see that even though we all have our own similarities and differences in our different uh, 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 realities and paths, the one thing that change, that stays consistent is, is the fact that the San Francisco Bridge changes color, which right. we have yet to figure out. We're still currently having our uh, uh, researchers uh, look into that. So we're talking parallel universes here. You've, you've successfully tapped into... Uh, I mean, out of necessity, it seems, because it looks like uh, Sky Varel's disappeared, right? She is she still gone? Is she? Is everybody still looking out for her, trying to find her? Well, we have found Sky Varel's. Uh, so essentially, when we had found Sky Varel's, she had no traces of her original memories, none that we could could find, and we were able to find that through her travels she had actually morphed into the Cyan Bridge, which we didn't even know or comprehend that there was a Cyan Bridge. Oh, holy cow. That's quite a discovery, I can imagine. Of course. It's, it's, it's almost like a liminal space between the two, the, the, well, the three bridges. So it's, it's sort of the A, A, B, 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 C, et cetera, et cetera. And so... She had been traveling for what must have been to her weeks, months, possibly even years. We have no idea. Um, uh, but we had been finding subtle ways to get her, her memory back. Uh, we had to be very careful with it, of course. Otherwise, we'd risk overflowing her mind with uh, the power of entity flow. Uh, and I led the actually the first mission to uh, retrieve a, a, a tomb, uh, the Book of Teklacht. From Ooh. the clutches of those Christ torch. Now, th is this book available for people to read, or is this just a, such a sacred text that what was there just only one of them, or there is only one book of Teklacht, oh. and as such, it is currently with an architect uh, of which I hold extreme value. Uh, of course, their location is currently uh, is currently cloaked. They are Naturally. somewhere in the Red Bridge. I can say that. Mm. And we've been keeping in connection with them uh, in their discoveries of the pages in the book that so, uh, we found. So I noticed this is a question I got here. So Crystal Inc. has lots, lots of products. I'm just going to list a couple of these. And I want to know if any of these, which of these, if any of these, are helping you out with your mission in trying to communicate with Sky Varels or the various versions of Hiley, uh, I mean, Wiley out there, because we got uh, Wiley Buzzcock Hiley's and the a Blue different Bridge. individual. Hiley's a different individual. <laughs> oh, Hiley is a whole different individual. Uh, right. Then you got Wiley Bucket in the Green Bridge and then uh, Wiley Herman on the Red Bridge. So right. um, I'm going to see which of these products might help you out the most with your, with your researches here. So here we have, um, they're talking about the... Uh, what is this? The tri uh, the chimeric ice cream biotransmitter. Now it says it allows you to acquire your friends and loved ones collective bio impressions with half the calories. Have you been using that at all during this process? Uh, currently, no. This was actually an invention of um, uh, the late Octavio Coleman Esquire of the uh, Red Bridge. As such, 
what we have found is that through some means, which we've still been trying to decipher exactly how this works, we've been having to re reverse engineer this product, uh, you are able to... I know this sounds ridiculous because uh, this is the only thing we've been able to, say, to disseminate. Somehow uh, connect your biosignature, that thing that makes you, that stuff, that vital ah. stuff that is you, into four different flavors. Uh, of course, he did vanilla, chocolate, strawberry, and then I believe the other one was caramel or butterscotch. I'm forgetting the last one. But then we don't know what purpose this would hold, however. Uh, of course, we did see in the uh, uh, documentary um, uh, in Bright, I'm sorry, not, yes, in Bright Dax, uh, uh, Grandview Boulevard, excuse me. Right, Grandview so Boulevard. Universe, yeah, Grandview Boulevard, that uh, Sky Varels did enjoy the ice cream from this device. And as far as we'd seen, there was no ill or adverse side effects. But of course, we're still researching this product and what what uh, Octavio Coleman had intended it to be used for. Right. Well, as we know, Octavio is, is such a genius. He's so far ahead of his time, you know, so, so far ahead of his time, such a visionary that, you know, you do find eventually, whether it takes decades or, or you know, uh, even a weeks or who knows how long, eventually those reasons seem to come to surface at some point, don't they? It's like, uh, oh, there's that point. aha moment where you finally go, oh, that's why this was, you know, was invented. At huh? some point, yes, yes. We're hoping now, to see that surface. Here's another one that I'm curious about. This one here is called the um, uh, the Shimeric Interdimensional Bridge Transponder. This one sounds, I mean, so this one says here that you get uh, discrete micro glimpses in the universes that run parallel to our own. Was th right. This seems like something that would have helped you guys out a lot with... Um, oh, of course, of course. Think of it essentially... Um, you know how you're seeing me through this webcam right now. Right. This webcam is actually in, uh, is actually threaded through the bridge transponder, which is how we are having this conversation in the first place. Fantastic. This allows for a strong connection between the bridges. Mm -hmm. So, as a result, when it was the device was in its first uh, beta stages, we could only get small little glimpses, maybe about 10, 15 seconds long. Most we had at one point was about 30 seconds, which I remember there was quite a party after that. It was truly a breakthrough for our, our organization. And we were able to see what the key differences in our universes were, our different bridges in some, uh, for example, Wiley would give money to a homeless man. In some others, he would not. So it was important to find out which bridges we were on to find out which paths we needed to guide these certain individuals on, or at the very least, know how to plan our own footing. It's incredible. So, okay, so how did you make your way to the Green Bridge? How, how, did, how did you get there? Was it through... Uh, some 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 faulty machinery, Christor machinery. Was it, uh, you know, how did, how did that happen? Was that intentional? How did, how did you get there? Well, Barbara, it's very interesting. So, um, what I, I I'm not really sure what the questioning is here because I'm not from your dimension. I'm from oh. my dimension. Yes, oh. I, I was on the Green Bridge. Now our Christor Inc. on the Green Bridge uh, was uh, put into effect at about the same time as the Christor Inc. on your bridge. And it was only until we had started to see the fact that there were different bridges that we realized there were other people. Uh, apparently, in one, there's uh, a, a Commander 14 who, who is sort yes. of the leader of these renegades, the elsewhere public works uh, uh agency something like that yeah and, and right and they do all these sorts of things now uh i don't really see myself as a leader i'm only a humble corporal 13 uh but it it was interesting to see the fact that there were different paths for me to take <laughs> i can imagine you know it's interesting because it's been talked about before i actually talked to a man who told me about what's called the the looking glass, you know, something that the government has where you can kind of see through these parallel, you know, mm -hmm. universes and make your decisions based on these. And it sounds a little like uh, Christor Inc., 
you know, I, I wouldn't put it past them to have been actually the inventors of the of, of the original version of, of that machine. I don't oh, know if course, you're at liberty to say anything like that, but it does sound like this would be kind of in that same same kind of wheelhouse. Now, here's another interesting here's another interesting thing I found here. Um, this is called the handheld calcite defibrillator. It says the device generates surges in binary distress signals with unrivaled precision. So what do you know about this one? It looks like it's a little suitcase. There's some buttons in there, some dials, of course. metal I can things. Actually, I can actually show you what we have here. Oh, please, this yes. was the original prototype. Oh, my or... God. Look at it. <laughs> I got... yes. It's brilliant. I got one, too. We both have one. That's amazing. Oh, that's How wonderful. astounding is that, huh? How astounding. Mine, mine so you have actually, the original. This was the original... Uh, 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 baseline for this. This material, which I'm not sure if you have the exact same material, could just be very similar, but uh, what happened was that it's able to find and pick up on the entity flow of the different bridges. That stuff that connects mm. you or me or anyone in our various bridges and universes. It allows you to pick up on that energy and find out how in tune the certain individual you're currently uh, tracking uh, is with that. Now, of course, this one, it had a uh, split Oh, in gosh. Half. Oh, yes. gosh. It was rather unfortunate, but it, it was overpowered when we were searching uh, uh, for uh, our first individual on it. And as you can see, it has these little shimmering lines yes that yes shows sort of the energy going through our universes so it still does pick up just not as well the later versions which you have which you are seeing in that uh, that suitcase there oh yeah in the suitcase um, yeah right it uh, was made to be more compact uh, for uh, agents in the field who would be searching for uh, individuals uh and as such, it also proved to be very helpful in finding bridge tears, which oh, uh, oh. we were we were having to deal with for quite some time. It was a rather a serious event. Well, what's a, what's a consequence of a bridge tear? I can only imagine, but I want to hear it straight from you. What what is what happens when there's bridge tears? Is that like the Philadelphia experiment, where you got bodies stuck in the middle of buildings and stuff? Or I mean, what what's the consequence of that? I suppose the best way to uh, to describe it. Have you ever seen the live action film The Cat in the Hat with Michael Myers? Yes. Yes. So you remember when the box was left open and everything which was covered in, in the goop and in his world, the cat in the hat's world was starting to merge with ours, with our world. Yes. That was similar to what was happening where uh, uh, you would have these beings of nonchalance creeping their way through uh, Kieran would be coming through. Ah. Giant Tanakht stone giants. They would be roaming around in the mountains. And uh, it was our jobs to find where these bridge tears were and uh, seal them up. You know, there was one moment when we had giant bees that were oh, swarming God. into our into the red bridge from the yellow oh, zone. Geez. Uh, you know, oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Not a pleasant uh, area, let me tell you. And... Um, these, these massive bees came in and we had to get rid of them first before we could before we could seal up the uh, seal up the uh, bridge tear. What do you have to and do? What's the process that you do to seal up the bridge tear? Is it is it more crystal technology? Is it actually how you yes, do? yes, it is. It is the chimeric interventional uh, bridge threader. So oh. think of it like a machine that uh, we're just kind of stitching it take. closed huh like of brrr. course yes that's about it yes you, well, uh oh well, who's this uh, did someone hack into our zoom <sighs> yeah oh no yeah! it's chris yeah, torch yeah, bastard! <laughs> oh no it's chris torch i was just going to ask you about these guys now all of a sudden they showed up because chris torch they don't seem to like uh like you guys, but I don't know why. And we don't like them. Get out of oh, here. Oh, no. You oh, no. human resources manager. Oh, no. Or should I say, human? Oh, no. What the heck? Look at this guy. Hugh Chris Dorch HR. Okay, so Hugh, 
Oh, so Hugh works in HR. Maybe he's just one of the peons. Maybe he's lo lower on a totem pole. Hugh, Ooh. why don't you tell us, why do you guys hate, why are you guys instructed to hate Chris Dorr and the Varel's Bridge Society so much? Let me start by saying uh, this guy is claimed to be Corporal 13. We, uh, we all know you're Janitor 15. This guy <laughs> cleans up, uh, you know, horse pens in uh, Chris Dorr. Oh, no. An so outrage no. for ceases lie! Oh, what are you going to do? Cut me with that butter knife? This is made with folded steel from the Tanak Stone Giants Mountains. Oh, it could slice yeah. you and twain faster than a butter knife ever could. You and your tinfoil swords. Jesus. Chris so... Torch, why, Chris Torch, why do you guys hate uh, uh, Chris Torch so much? I know there's a class action lawsuit. You know, it's something very suspicious to me was the woman in the lawyer video What's very strange is that she actually is the lawyer. So this woman is pretending, it seems, to be a victim, but she's actually a lawyer. And then I found out, I did further digging, I found out that she, uh, what is this lady's name? She actually is somehow connected to you guys. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. I Yo, can't find her name. You should believe it. You should believe it. They'll use any dirty, double-handed, underhead trick. Are you done, janitor? Quit calling me a janitor! I am God from thirteen. No, 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 sadly mistaken. I, uh, I, you know, I once worked for Christor back in the seventies. Um, I don't know. They're kind of boring. Why would I? Why would I stay? You know, I mean, I would have to put up with this guy the entire time. We it's, handle community no, beautification. Like we bring into the blah, flow blah, to those blah, who need it. Blah 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 blah. Don't you blah, blah, blah me. <sighs> so point, are you going to shut up? So, so you have Hugh, any real questions for me? Okay, so Hugh, you used to work at Chris Store, Inc. Is this yeah. true? Yeah. So was Corporal 13 working there at the time? That's what I'm curious about. I mean, if you call interning at a horse stable, yeah, that's working, I guess. I uh -oh. was not uh -oh. interning in a horse stable. Oh, I'm sorry. It was animal husbandry lab. Gee, you stop that! This is out, Matthew. This is outright lies. I demand that this man be removed. The worst part was this guy was like super young, like, I don't know, like 16 or 17. And they still look like, uh, you know, strung out Skid Row Santa Claus. It this, was the this beard was the result of an entity flow experience. Oof. You know, uh, we're recruiting at Chris Torch. Uh, Don't you, know. you advertise your, your mamey cockamons? My what? Your mamey cockamons! This guy, like, I don't know, it sounds like he dropped a thesaurus. deeper! <laughs> This guy can't do the uh, the Monday crossword in the New York Times. So, yeah. you know. Well, it sounds to me like he's chanting a spell. Uh, it sounds like he's there's an incantation. I'm cursing there. out him in Elswerian dialect. It's oh. probably the one thing that he does understand. Where did you hmm. learn your English, huh? Are you still in first grade? Uh, that was pretty good. <laughs> So, you know, so things are things are coming around for you there, janitor eighteen. It's Corporal thirteen, oh, and you uh, know blah, blah, blah. it. So, so, so Hugh, uh, Kurt, I noticed. You know, uh, yeah. you know, shut up, Kurt. <laughs> it's time for you, me to ask some questions. Um, I'm recruiting. Oh Do yeah. You think uh, think you might want to come over to you know the good side? Well, I'm telling you, I'm looking up these. Near the good side. They're the <laughs> no, bad no, no. ones. You are the supposedly benevolent side. If you got, if you think these guys are benevolent, just look at the long list of side effects. Of uh, what is that? That stupid CBIT or whatever. Oh, and just a little clue. Uh, those those little crystal things that you were holding up earlier. Yeah. Those are actually that's actually medication. In the it's form of a not suppository. medication. Oh, it no, is no, no, it's a suppository. So no, it looks like it's old, not. Uh, janitor 15 or 18 or whatever. And listen, listen, those side effects only could happen. They no, very no, rarely happen. ever did happen. God, this guy never stops talking over people. Hey, where's uh, that suppository? 
It's not a suppository. It is a mineral you... found in the mountains of Tanakh to text. He, he learned how to, to put it, you know, to administer to himself during his animal. I did courses, not have to administer but... anything. It's not a suppository. Oh, it so, is. It is. And so that Hugh... case that it comes in now, it's a giant <laughs> child proof or, or idiot proof in his case. It's an idiot proof medicine box. If a briefcase is a child proof pill bottle, then what is a phone case for a baby proofing for a pocket sized computer? Jesus Christ, this guy never shuts up. Well, I'm a little concerned about something. All the time. Hugh, Hugh, I noticed I'm a little concerned here. On Chris Torch, you guys have these Kieran eggs. I've seen these things. These things, when they hatch, these things look like. Dude, these things are huge uh, monsters. I've seen them in Grandview. They're Bowl. not just eggs. If I may, if I may clarify something. Yeah, what are they? They take, the, they take the Kieran into captivity. Kieran are spirits of divine insouciance. They are watchers. They have been here for thousands of years. And what do these heathens do? They chain them up in dark basements and stalls. They take their eggs and sell them to the highest bidder for slavery. Man. You done? Because that's, uh, let me tell you about what we do with the Kieran here. You guys have uh, stores, right? You have uh, supermarkets or grocery stores out there? Yeah. Okay. Um, so, you ever seen, I've only been to your guys' planet a couple times. Um, you ever seen those like coin operated ponies? Yes. And that's yeah. what we use them for. But they're, it's funner, it's more fun. Then, but you take you them know, from their natural habitat. You take them from elsewhere. Like Are you ever going to shut up, Corporal? No, oh, I'm so not. If it's on the behalf of the kid, it's just constantly. It's just constant. See, this is what I put up with. They call us the bad guys, and this guy will never shut up. Where are your so does that make me a bad guy that I don't shut up for what's right? Uh, hey, Kurt, uh, why don't we focus on me for a little while? What, you got any other questions for us? Well, how long have you worked for Chris Torch? I mean, uh, I started working in 73. Oh, 73. oh, I'm sorry. I cut you off there, pal. Well, I was going to say any of the stuff that I'm looking at here looks there. There's it's got a little sort of a nefarious bent to it, like the immortality uh, mask here. The um, yes, nefarious, uh, the primal fear mask. Yes. I mean, keep going. Nightmare fuel. Yeah. Sheesh. Speaker horns. Mm hmm. All of these things, I mean, uh, this would Daddy get the kids frightened. This would get the kids frightened, I think, that they saw these things out there in the streets. But Thank there's a little boy here. Cut. There's a little boy here who seems to like your chocolate low-fat milk. I don't, I don't know if he's uh, under a spell there or if he actually enjoys it. Uh, who yeah, knows what's in that low milk? have low-fat chocolate milk here. Oh, Wait a minute. I... You're still using that boy? Yeah. <sighs> gotta, have, gotta slip somebody in there somewhere. We, you know, our eyes and ears are everywhere. So what these products, I can, I, I can only imagine that uh, you might have been one of the culprits in uh, this. This is what I'm thinking. When I see when I see all the different inventions on Chris Tor Inc. And then I look at the inventions on Chris Torch. It makes me wonder if maybe someone, possibly you, who used to work there might have taken some of that technology, some of the, you know, some of that information, and then just decided to put in a Chris Torch. Is there any, is there any truth to that? Uh, no, no, it's the other way around. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, so, yeah. So you're saying Chris Tor actually, you're Lies! saying is taking your ideas? Blatant no. mistruths! No, 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 no. Look, it's really simple. Uh, these guys suck. None of them are smart in any stretch of imagination. And uh, if you had as much creativity uh, and knowledge uh, in your uh, little uh, pinky uh, finger uh, as Dive uh, else uh, has in her uh, entire brain, you'd be able to uh, do something better with your life. No, I don't want to do anything better with my life. Lower management is great. Corporate yeah, yeah. espionage is that's a little, you know. A little bit too high pressure for me. That's why I like uh, human resources. So, Hugh, what are some of the things that they have you doing in there in human resources? I mean, what are some of the the things that you're handling in there? Oh, you mean besides uh, besides torturing puppies? Uh oh. Um, what you don't like torturing puppies? I see. He does the that. truth. The they truth do is coming that out. as a pastime. It's a sport to them, like baseball when they run around the hexagon. Uh, baseball. 
Oh, that's that thing where they throw the leather thing at you, right? We have we have something like baseball, if that's the case, but we use mouse lemurs instead of baseballs. Mouse lemurs, and they yeah, have which little now, tiny mouse lemur. Now, where on what planet is that? On which or uh, which dimension, as it were? Uh, I guess you'd call it Yellow Bridge. I told you about these men. They they're dangerous, terrible human beings. They're the opposite of everything Christ stories. So, Corporal yeah. 13, what's interesting here, okay, so the only men, okay, so this is interesting. Now you've just shined a whole new light on this here, a, a yellow light, if you will, uh, hue, a, a, a yellow hue, if you will. Uh, what's interesting is that all I knew about was the blue, red, and green bridges. Now you've just opened up a whole nother possibility here that there's actually a yellow bridge. Did you know we about this, Corporal 13? We is don't lying? Bring them is this, it's is, true. It's true. They're part of a whole different dimension, opposite from us. The only reason we never include them in anything is because every time we've tried peace talks, they always bring their lawyers with a purpose. They always bring their lawyers trying to snaggle us out of every single cent, every single right we have to do what is good. Yeah, uh, whatever. Uh, it's, look. He doesn't even deny it. Why would I deny it? That's ridiculous. And it's not my lawyer, unless Anthony's there. Uh, usually I bring along uh, this guy, Julian, from accounting. I'm always trying to get him to like me, but he won't even exchange pleasantries. It's this, uh, I don't even want to go into it. It's a manatee that lives under the Chris Dorch headquarters. And, oh, you know, a manatee. He won't even, he will not exchange pleasantries. Manatees but, you know, cannot talk. That's dolphins you're thinking of. What? Where you're from, the manatees can't talk? I thought. No, no, we have talking dolphins. We are able to speak with dolphins. Oh, okay. They can write, though, right? Like. No, no. Are I, you sure? Didn't, uh, didn't one hang of them on, write? Wait, 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 wait. Since we're discussing this, you, do you have talking dolphins or manatees in your dimension? We do. Um, it's unfortunate. I oh, know. I see. But... Me not here. I'm in Kurt. I'm in Kurt. I, I, oh, I uh, well, they make like e -e -e -o -o kind of sounds. Uh, yeah, I haven't heard. I heard. I haven't heard him speak. Uh, speak like the way we're talking right now. I I've, I've never that. heard of a a o o. What, what's that? What's... It's like they're saying a e i o u over and over again. Kurt, are you having a stroke? Are you fine? Right? No. I, do I do I need to call your paramedics? <laughs> no, he's he's uh, singing the latest Mariah Carey album. That's right. That's right. That's Mariah right. Carey is a goddess, and she'll be respected as oh, such. God. Anything that sounds like a dolphin over there. So Hugh, I gotta know. I, I just gotta know what what would be your ultimate. What would be, I mean, are you happy in HR or would you rather reach a higher echelon of, I mean, I would imagine that if you work at a place like that, there are probably even more sort of levels to open up there, you know, more information to learn there. The oh, higher yeah, level. you've been kissing up to your Octavio Coleman <laughs> over there. It's, it's, it's complicated. Um, you know, like middle management is usually about as high as you can get unless Coleman is there, but... I have so much fun just torturing people as they come in for interviews. I mean, you probably have been through a couple of interviews yourself. What was your uh, favorite? Yeah. Oh, you know, at one time I, uh, I actually, I was, I went in for an interview for Whole Foods. And what I decided to do was I wrote up this list that, uh, cause I realized this is an interview to see for you people. If we get along, yes, you're, you're hiring, you're, you're hiring me, but I'm also in a sense hiring you. I wrote up a list of questions uh, for them to answer. So I said, uh, it was kind of like a yes or no type of thing. Like, do you, are you good at collaborating with your employees? Do you compliment your employees when they do good stuff? Uh, what was the last dream you had? Um, do you appreciate synchronicities? This whole list of different things. And I gave it to him. And I think that threw him off a little bit. Needless to say, I didn't get the job, but it was my favorite interview I ever had because I, I put them in the hot seat and it, it just felt so good to see them in the hot seat. So that was probably my most favorite interview. But um, I don't know. Usually I'm asking people the questions, you know, because I have the podcast. So um, no, I would say, well, you know what? I OK, so for my podcast. So that was my favorite job interview. But my for the podcast, I would say. Some of my great, my favorite interviews, uh, Wiley Wiley Herman or whichever whichever version I talked to at that point. I think it's Wiley Herman since he's yeah we're in the red red bridge here. Uh, Wiley Herman. I talked to Spencer McCall. Um, 
So those were a lot of fun because those guys helped introduce me to your whole world that you guys have going on here, which is just absolutely fascinating. Tons of labyrinths and tons of different directions well, to, to go in. to be fair, they've been researching just as long as us. We were only brought in uh, once, you know, more, more funding was brought in. And uh, as these, these foundations were established, the Barrels Bridge Society, et cetera. Yeah. Uh, they're, they're always just riding our coattails over there. Uh, so I think I've heard that story about the interview. Don't you have like a podcast called like Spider Projectors or something like that? <laughs> now that would be a great podcast, Spider Projectors. That you know, probably probably in the uh, on the Blue Bridge, my my podcast is called Spider Projectors. Uh, it's called Inspirado Projecto. I absolutely love my wordplay. So it's and the idea that whatever. Oh, I have heard that one. That's right. Whatever I'm inspired by, I project it out there, and ideally that will inspire other people. And I got to say those those episodes where I interviewed those guys because I st oh and Scaramanga Silk too I interviewed him so I interviewed oh, these guys basically DJ. Oh, guy's oh, phenomenal phenomenal have you guys read about what what went on with, with Discogs recently with his album I it's try not highest... to read oh my gosh well good news for 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 Scaramanga Silk his his album a very rare album was sold for like forty thousand dollars or someone bought it for forty thousand dollars on Discogs so he's the highest highest bought album ever above like any other musician. So he's, he's all over the news right now. So let's, what I was thinking was that's going to trickle down. The news is going to bring its way to, you know, Chris Dor, Chris Dorge, <laughs> Chris Dorge. Uh, maybe that's another Chris Dorge uh, and a Varel's Bridge Society, of course. But um, even though you guys are, are at odds with each other, what's interesting is through this, through this uh, conflict, it draws people to both of your causes, which I think is very interesting. Now, having said that, I they know they don't even the... have a cause. It's well, just memory and slavery. Uh, well, and, and this chicanery. Is, this is why I noticed on the Chris Torch mm -hmm. page is that they're they're involved with demand protest, which is headed by Don Tiepso. Because uh, I saw his interview, he was on the news. He he was interviewed all about demand protest, and so that's interesting. So I'm wondering how many Chris Torch uh, employees are paid protesters for these are you at liberty to say hugh oh uh, I, I paid i don't know we we mainly we don't pay anybody we usually like to enslave them as quickly as possible gotcha break gotcha. them down you know that type of stuff are there any brain brainwashing techniques that you use any specific uh, hypnosis skills yeah uh we play this one band um we just it's incessant they like the worst band that's ever hit the face of any planet. They're called like Yachtly Crew. <laughs> yeah. Yachtly they're worse. Yachtly they're like a, they're like a Kenny What's G Yachtly cover Crew? band or something like that. <laughs> we don't have that band on this page. <laughs> a Kenny G cover band. Oh my God. <laughs> just sounds like, all the hits. Sounds oh, like just some all... kind of Sounds like some kind of a, a, a love boat uh, parody band, you know? Oh my God, I love it. Wait, oh you my look... God. You look just like one of the guys in that whole Oh my band. god. Oh yeah. Jose. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yachtly crew. Strictly strictly Kenny G. All the hits. All the Kenny G hits. Yeah. Um and uh it we do play the Love Boat song. It's funny that you said that. We play the Love Boat song halfway through because then it turns kind of into a strip show, a G rated strip show. We just take our chances. Yeah. Oh. Spin the jackets around and everything. I'm I'm not sure I want to be interviewed by such a weirdo now. <laughs> No, this is my guy. So, I'm, do you play like what do you play? Like the butt trumpet? The mostly the butt trumpet. Uh, some of Good the uh, some kazoo, a little bit of the uh, the stylophone. You know, a little bit of the stylophone. Some there he goes the again. Horse. He's having a stroke. So now he needs to put a wallet in his mouth. <laughs> do any of you guys have bands aside from Scarmanga Silk? Do any of you guys have other bands on your planets or other dimensions that you guys really appreciate? You have that one band. Um... What was it? The Monster Masters or something like that. They had that song. Uh, surfing on the planet of sorts. Surfing on the planet of sorts. I, I don't know what you call it. it, it, it I don't know what that was. Surfing I don't know on what the you planet call much for music. <laughs> music usually brings enjoyment. So I try to stick away from I'm more of a video guy or a silent movie guy. Oh, but, gosh. you know, music every now and then. What kind you of know, silent films? Torturing puppies. Like the oh. best thing you could possibly do is 
just put a set of headphones on them and wait for their eyes to just go blank. Oh, sorry. This is too much information. Sorry. This is horrible. Well, I personally enjoy the stylings of uh, of um, of uh, Sky Varel's uh, machine. So I've actually been uh, taking some of the samples from them and uh, reworking them as best I can. I have one song in particular called uh, Water Lily. Oh, how does uh, it go? How does it go? Let me just hear uh, a little it, bit of it. It goes something, you know, like... Uh, Dun da dun da 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 da, and it's got like uh, this this ethereal energy behind it. Uh, it's a beautiful song, really. Uh, uh, it's just the sound of the universe, just uh, just churning away. Phenomenal, phenomenal. It's the sound of his lower intestine. <laughs> it's not the sound of my lower intestine, you bugger. After a chili eating contest. No, like no, that would be interesting. Get a really high-powered microphone, just put that right up next to the yeah, belly. Like Stop those, encouraging him! Like one of those uh, <laughs> experimental bands. Like what? You, that one, they toured here like back in the 80s. Eins zu Zende Neubauten. Wait, which one? Eins zu Zende Neubauten. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I've heard yeah, of those yeah, guys. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, just nothing but the classic hits like, like Tear Apart, Nazi Train Engines, uh, Breaking, uh, what was it? bringing down architecture, oh, you know, yeah. that type of stuff. Yeah. Just destroying things. Oh, yeah, yeah. They yeah, had some just embracing that nefarious You're both insane. We've never everyone. had anything like that on this bridge. No, you guys suck over there. Everything's like, it's suck. just music box music over there. Everything just sounds like a calliope on his bridge. It's so flippant. It's a beautiful boring. sound. Who doesn't enjoy the calliope and the bagpipes? Oh, the bagpipes oh, are great. Do you play the bagpipes, Corporal 13? No, but I do have a friend that does so. And uh, every so often we'll go up on the mountains that are nearby and uh, uh, we'll, we'll have a little uh, uh, tune-up. I play clarinet. Oh, you play the clarinet. Do you have one with you right now? Uh, I, but it's on the shelf. I'd have to go around and get it. Go get your clarinet. In the meantime, I'll play my... I just learned how to do the, uh, the Zelda theme song on the ocarina my sister brought this back she went on vacation this is the uh so this is this the, I, I don't think it's the zelda theme song but it's one of them that's in the ocarina time so that's i just learned that a few days ago and i, I was like wow that's great i know how to play an actual song oh here comes a clarinet baby oh yeah oh oh i'm sending my car how did i know you were going to play that instrument you look like a guy that would listen to world music oh yeah oh yeah <laughs> world music yeah yeah with the uh, coexist right. bumper sticker on my prius yeah 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 yeah, yeah. exactly all right give me one moment i have got to get it put it together it's always a moment look at those look at those headphones oh, oh yeah what's wrong with my headphones <laughs> they're slightly better than those dumb goggles you're wearing what well, my goggles allow me to see past the barrier of the universes uh-huh are those, are those... Ma they make you look like that Nazi off that one Indiana Jones movie. Uh, oh, oh I know. God, that, yeah, because he had the circle glass. His face melts, right? His face yeah. melts at the yeah. end. Oh, my God. Here comes a clarinet. Wow. Here we go. Oh, oh God. God. What are you, like Woody Allen? Let's hear. Let's see what this is all about. Oh, my gosh. What's this going to be like? Torture. Ooh. <laughs> Don't you snore during my clarinet? I was asleep, I man. It was boring. Oh Top my god! One hundred of uh, his bridge. Wow, Corporal Thirteen, that's, you that's could put out an entire as album. Gets. You could put out an entire album of, Didn't of even uh, get just to your play clarinet. An actual song. That was me warming up. That was good. What are some of your favorite songs to play? Uh, I, I suppose uh, classical music, but as I said, I haven't played the clarinet in a while, really. Uh, the beer wow. grew over my lips, so I kind of kind of get a proper uh, a setting. Do, do, do you find that the, the clarinet gets caught in the beard? Never so often, never so often in the re eh? Yeah, because the beard, the longer it grows, it, 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 it's like it becomes like tentacles in there, huh? Uh, yes, it's, it's rather uh, difficult. 
Oh my gosh. So, so, uh, Hugh, do you, do you play instruments? I know you say that you don't really do listen to music. Do you play any instruments, Hugh? I play all of them. You play all of them, sure. Yeah. Why not? So do you play the calliope? Ooh. No, that's for you guys. Okay, not everything. Die, I, 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 I play, see. I so strictly play. Currently, I play uh, the hurdy gurdy. Oh, hurdy gurdy. Yeah. A bassoon. Um, and a toy trumpet. Oh, that's good. That's yeah. good. I I'm, also I, like the sound of Koto. I've been listening to Koto, like like ancient, like folk Koto music lately on iTunes. It's just really relaxing. It's just really interesting sound. Do you know how to play the Koto? Remember when I was insulting world music earlier? Oh, yes. Does yeah, that mean yeah. no? Or that mean yes? I, you know, I guess I could make this confession. I, uh, I'm in a band... And it's a cover band, and we just do Millie Vanilli covers and Ashley Simpson it. covers. I can't believe that you said that. It's so funny. Oh my god, this is this. I have this in one of my idea books. I thought, how funny would that be? Is if you had a Millie Vanilli tribute band, and then you know you don't have to. Nobody has to learn any instruments. You just play the CD, of course. But then during that one hit song, you make sure that that song skips, just like the, just like it was on TV. So then everyone, you know, you're skipping it. And then you just close it out with that. It's just astounding that you brought. Are we the playing interdimensional hopscotch? Interdimensional oh, hopscotch. God. This stuff again. Well, it's it's a fun game. Sure. What is it? How do you do it? Uh, interdimensional hopscotch is like regular hopscotch, except it's the path to getting into uh, elsewhere and going between bridges. Yeah, so, you uh, take your thumb and you stick it up your butt. Yeah, you go, you, know, you, you. That's stick to be, be more, be more civil, man. We're on a live stream. You can't tell me what to do. You're not my real dad. I'm literally a god brawler. A janitor. Oh, okay. I just heard a key word there. Not my real dad. Okay, so hold on. Did Corporal Thirteen adopt you? Is he? No. Are you, is he never. an adopted child? I oh. will never adopt this curmudgeon. Me? Uh, well, well, on my planet, it kind of goes the other way around. How does it go? Well, time, time is fluid here. And so I went and knocked up his mom. And <laughs> uh, then I made my way back and uh, acted like I was his kid. Interesting. Yeah. Uh-oh. You're your own father. Correct. I am... The Time Traveler's Paradox Paradox. I've never heard of that one. That's like those Russian dolls. That's like the, it's a, it's a whole fractal that you're involved with. Oh yeah, with nesting dolls. Those are the, great. Yeah, the paradox, you're, you're in a paradox yeah, paradox. Disgusting. It's crazy. No. The son, the father of yourself. God, now there's a, there's a humdinger as one might say. That's, that's a humdinger right there. Being a son, you're your own father. God, that's interesting. Yeah, I'm my own son and own. F what? Uh, I think oh, geez, I'm getting a call from the man. Hello. You're your own what? son and your own father. Correct. You're a father oh, and a son. Boy. Oh. Yes, he's in here. <sighs> Operation Water Lily. His mommy is calling. Are you uh -oh. sure? Operation Water Lily. What does that mean? Oh uh, yeah. Uh -oh. I think his mom's asking him to grab some. And it's not the command. Listen. Uh oh. Christ told hey, me uh, to tell you get out of this stream. Janitor Otherwise, we'll be acting Operation Water Lily on you. Janitor, uh oh. Your mom called and said you have to be home before the street lights are on. My mother is resting comfortably in her tea parlor. Tea parlor? I bought her own mansion. So what are you saying that his mom likes teabagging? Teabagging in the tea parlor. Yeah, no, teabagging, you know. Like, oh, teabag. Oh, yeah, yeah teabagging. Yeah. That's what he's saying. <laughs> so what's You're interesting disgusting. is I just learned the other day the word teetotaler. So if your mom's in the tea parlor, is she also a teetotaler? Does she only drink tea? I think he's talking to you, idiot. <laughs> I'm not an idiot. I was Janitor. trying to process the question. <laughs> I was trying to process the question. My mother enjoys all types of tea, as do I. We every so often we uh, we have a, 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 a tea in her uh, 
in her uh, uh, garden full of, full of mm. water lilies, uh, beautiful flowers. It's it's wonderful. And uh, we have uh, uh, some uh, nice English rose tea. Have you ever had English rose tea? No, but I want to now. Oh, it's beautiful. It's great. Maybe English only rose. The finest, only, only the finest uh, roses, which have been plucked with liquid rainbow. Oh, boy. They, they English put rose. liquid rainbow onto the petals, and it creates this wonderful aroma. Oh, it's, it's So is this something that's only available? Wait, you're a, you said you're in uh, which which bridge, Corporal 13? You say you're I'm on, on green? the green bridge. You know, you're on the green. That's right. So ah, only yeah. on the green bridge. So on the red bridge, I don't think we have I don't think we have that kind of I need to do my research. But Oh, it's a wonderful tea over here. I'll make sure to I'll try and send you some if I can. Dipped in a ri- the be- rainbow the best liquid. part about that tea is uh we export it from Zorch. It's made from uh capybara nipples. Oh boy. It's not roses. It's oh, not boy. exported from Zorch. Oh, it is. It's you know, you guys have them there, those giant uh rats. So we just harvest their nipples, dry them out, touch them with whatever that rainbow. I wish you'd stop with your gob gob skating. Oh my gosh! So how far away is Zorch? I mean, what what? Where is it? Is it is it within the Yellow Bridge? Is it is it in its own? I mean, how do we get there? How do we get to Zorch? Well. If I told you that, I'd have to, you know, kill you. Right, uh, right. These guys are constantly trying to find us. And every now and then there's a bridge tear and they get through. But for the most part, we try to you keep You get through alive. on those bridge tears to us. We're the ones having to seal them off so you don't get in. You guys have been saying that since back in the 70s when we were all LSI. But what's LSI? What's LSI? Oh, that's classified. Okay, you guys have a guy over there. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Peter Schwartz. Peter Schwartz. He worked for oh, right, Stan for way back in the day. He was one of our agents. Oh, you know, we have agents within the Varel's Bridge Society. Uh-oh. I'd like to give a shout out to all the poached. You know, we got a, we got like a mod and a guy that he goes way back. It's this guy who goes around Philadelphia uh, collecting cans. Huh. And this person, well, this person is one of the secret agents. Since we're being honest here, since like we're that. being honest here, I thought you should know too that we have an agent inside your organization. Oh, you mean Hiley? No, not. Wait, who's Hiley? Hiley? <laughs> you mentioned him earlier. <laughs> no. Oh my Hiley. God. Hiley. <laughs> He's no. Uh, Look, we don't have any good. Weed oh no! On the excuse side me, you're bridge, talking about uh, Hailey. No, 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 no. Yes, no, no, no. I thought you were those... meaning Hailey with an I. I thought you meant Hailey with an I. No, Hailey. No, no, no. Hailey with a Y. No, that's Super not. Hailey. He's over here. No, he's over here. No, it's somebody no, no. else. He's here in the room right now. No, he's not. No, no. he brought. I just us passed this, by him uh, in the know, hallway little, before little this sticky, interview. Icky. But our sticky icky is like just seeds and stems. So, you know, it's okay. I guess like we to have to continue over. my statement since you interrupted me so rudely. Oh, we have an agent inside your organization as well. <laughs> and I bet you'll never find them because they're masters of disguise. Uh huh. Oh boy. So masters each of you. Of each of you has a secret agent hiding within the other's company. Now, how, yes. how are you going to go about figuring out? Uh, well, of course, kind of we already know. I'm, I'm phasing in and out. Uh-oh. Uh-huh. Of course, we already know who their agent is. And we've already dispatched uh, the, the, the proper individuals to take care of them. Uh-oh. Just to clarify to your Uh-oh. idiots in their Discord server, it's highly H-A... Oh, no, wait. How do you spell high? H-I-G-H... Mm. I've never I been think good a at Q. the words. I think there's a Q somewhere in there. Yes. It's a, it's a silent Q W Y N W. Yeah. Highly. Yeah. yeah. So, how long have you been failing at podcasts? Three years now. Oh, that's a long time. How how was that? Once fall you get from momentum, grace? you got to keep going. You got to yeah. keep going. You got momentum. Yeah, that that downward. Yeah, you just got to try to touch the the bottom of the ocean. 
you know, sometime you just got to get oh, down man. to the bottom. Yeah, there's nothing just... better than hitting rock bottom. <laughs> oh, man, I, I actually agree with him. He's he, he, this this isn't exactly the the most professional podcast I've been on. Quite frankly, it's really messed up. That's right. Oh, look I at think this that's one. That's right. There's one place where we kind of we kind of agree. I, I think, wouldn't you say, Hugh? Yeah, I think. Uh, I mean, this, look at this guy, midlife crisis with his long hair. <laughs> that's right. Did yeah, your mom paint that the... little painting in the background there? Yeah, I my buddy the did actually. That's cutout. weird. What's the, with the cardboard cutout? Well, who is that? This is a to table. Be? My buddy Franco Demonte. He he, tabletop. He just took it off. This is this is Grant Park in Chicago, and uh, and then of course that of course is Dougie Jones, aka Agent Cooper. Uh, he's oh. a silent. See, type. He makes references that I don't even understand, and I'm somewhat age. You somewhat oh, aged. <laughs> Eight, no, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm some, t- I'm some kind of age, you know. So I oh, you're some kind of age. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Like shitty wine aged. Yeah. yeah you no, know, like spoiled milk aged, like you are. Do you got? Wait, what? You guys have other milk than spoiled milk? What other milk would there be other than good milk? You oh. guys probably milk mules. We no we donkeys. milk. Well, I mean, cows, I mean, technically, I guess you could if they had nipples, but really, you, you know, we have almond milk and, mil- and you know, cow milk and uh, sheep's milk, too. Oh, that's really good milk. That's really nice. Sounds gamey. So does, does time, like, does a, when you age uh, within each of these different bridges, does it go slower for some people? Does it go faster for some people? Uh, like, for instance, to one person... Uh, it might feel like years have passed by, but really they've only aged, you know, I guess in the, in the red bridge here, that it would only be a year. Does, is there any sort of only, only in the cyan bridge, as we mentioned, uh, why, uh, uh sky Varels was cyan. having her own, uh, uh, adventure sort of in the cyan bridge and what must have been to her months or years was probably, uh, uh just, you know, a, a few months to us. Uh, uh, well, no, excuse me. Yes, actually, that would be right. So she spent probably an eternity in the Cyan Bridge when we've only had her missing in our world for years. So when she was on the Cyan Bridge, what was she coming across parallel versions of the people who are in, you know, let's say the Blue Bridge, the Green Bridge, the Red Bridge? Know. Was she coming across parallel versions of other people? We that don't she know. Knew? We don't know. We're still trying to figure that out ourselves. He Cyan Bridge know. is not. Well, yeah, well, do you know? He looks at you in your oversimplified, like, understanding of how but time But do you works. know? Do yeah, you of know? Uh, time is an ever-expanding ball. You see, no, not about time, about what's at the Cyan Bridge. Uh, Cyan Bridge? Aye. No. Uh, they, they've never let us in there. Yeah, we they, cannot, we cannot get in there. You can't? N- no. I thought... What are you saying? Then who runs Scion Bridge? Well, Corporal Thirteen, you were saying that Varel's, uh, I mean, uh, Sky, Sky got caught in there, right? Ah, yes, she got caught in there. So, so she, and the one who's, she's... is she in charge of that place now? Is she running things? Well, no, because she came back. We were able to. Oh, get she her came back. back. Oh, that's what Aye. it was. That's right. She came back. That's right. But I'm not sure what you mean. Wait a minute, Hugh. What do you mean? Who runs Scion Bridge? I thought you guys were running that. We don't even know what you're talking about with running anything. In what regards do you mean running? Everybody a has a boss. I. Everyone has a boss. So who's the boss at Cyan Bridge? There's that idiot mm. Wiley with like the midlife crisis hair. Oh, just like this guy here in the stupid podcast. Uh, he Our runs Wiley's a couple kind of, of bolting. Our Wiley's kind of bolting. Yeah, it's short. That guy needs to shave. But nonetheless, uh, yeah. everyone's got a boss. So, wait a second. If you're over there on that dumb bridge you're on, then I'm over here. Scion. It's got to be those stupid butterflies, right? They run. No. Well, hmm. no, the butterflies and the bees, we've signed a truce with them. Uh, I mean, that's tentative at this point. It's, you know, it's as good as you guys. You guys have, like, Treaties over on your side there, right, human? Yes, and we hold to our treaties. Uh, 
about as good as uh, that one country America keeps with theirs. They're real good at What's it. wrong yeah. with America in your marriage? Ours? Oh, we, our America keeps their treaties. It's really weird. It's the exact opposite. Our America keeps our treaties too. Uh, is it any different for you, uh, Kirk? You know, to be honest, I'm kind of uh, a one man country. I'm kind of uh, doing my own thing. I don't really pay attention go. to what they're doing. I don't Good really, <laughs> I haven't watched a, an actual TV in 20 something years. Yeah. I pretty much watch like YouTube and Netflix and stuff like that and create my own stuff. But uh, I've heard, yeah, there's a lot of upset out there uh, of people, you know, breaking promises or making promises that others don't want them to do. And um, it's interesting because I found myself really valuing my own sanity, my own mentality. And I think that's why I moved away from that and just started creating my own stuff. And um, it's, not really, it's just it's crazy, not really man, because like, like uh, Facebook has just turned into a an argument of just very toxic. It's like jumping into a vat of acid in there. I really yeah, don't you're know. welcome. Uh, Zuckerberg is <laughs> one of our guys. Oh, OK, OK. Yeah, uh, we make people look like dead zombies and shave their heads back. Mm. You know, that's one of the telltale signs. That hairline that he's got, that's uh, the height of fashion. And on sorry, Zuckerberg. sorry, Zuckerberg? Yeah, and that dude, dude Jack, from your twatter. Is it twatter or mm. Twitter? Yeah. Who's, who's Zuckerberg? Zuckerberg. Mm. You guys don't have a face. Oh, that's right. You guys only have MySpace over there. <laughs> Hi, our, right. our our main social media is MySpace, uh, run by that man Jack. Really nice guy. Yeah, you know. always in front of the whiteboard. Yeah, no, MySpace became uh, this this really great uh, startup company, following into a huge social media platform, and everyone's everyone's very nice on that platform. So who's in Look charge? Up, he's uh, lying. It's who, Friendster. What I'm curious about with you guys and your and the various parallels of all these different bridges. Who's in charge of keeping those straight? Of 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 like going, okay, here's where <laughs> things go. Here's where the crossroads are. You know what I mean? That's hilarious. Is that you, there's Corporal Thirteen? There's nobody keeping charge of that. It's it's already been done since before the beginning of the universe. Since before the time of Apollo. That's oh. what it is. You go back to the to the very beginning. That Big Bang. That snap. I created the entity flow of the universe. That's what that is. That's when the bridges became what they were. There's nobody keeping track of anything. You cannot, you gotta control the bridges. Well, how do you chart? How do you chart? Um, let's say, for instance, I mean, I'm imagining, are there certain access points, you know, vortexes, so to speak, to be able to sort of go into the other bridges? Uh, are there specific thing, uh, you know, specific places where that happens, or can you just do it no matter where, just depending on what kind of technology you have? Elsewhere and uh, the divine insouciant, they are only accessed whenever two or more insouciants with a T um, uh, get into the same area, get together with the with with their kind of recondite family. Now, as it is. There is uh, only one known physical location in the Arctic Circle, uh, I believe the Red Bridge, but it, we've never been able to track that area where uh, insouciance is always continuing. And, and we, we're not sure where that is. We're still looking. But as far as we're aware, the only time you can ever travel between the bridges is either with the uh, 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 chimeric interdimensional bridge teleporter or with uh, uh, the entity flow holes. Now, what does that feel like when you go through, you know, when you oh, use one of these devices? Uh, uh, do you, is it kind of like Star Trek? Do you, do you turn it's into a, a bunch of little subatomics or what is, nah, do you see a, nah, a tunnel nah, of light? You, you kind of you describe it. That's the thing was that every one of those sci-fi shows, they're wrong because you, whenever you're going through, you kind of describe it. It's, it's for like everybody. It's, it's yeah. a <laughs> You know what it feels like? It feels like if you ate a dozen frozen burritos and uh, followed that up with uh, some orange juice and then, uh, you know, maybe half a bottle of Mad Dog 2020. That's exactly what it feels like. It's like if you took a golden spike and somehow were able to melt it down into an ice cream cone and consume that, 
And then that's just, oh. Oh, oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, I can only imagine golden spike oh. ice cream. That, that would taste really oh. good. Wait, did you just say golden showers? Go- no, I didn't say golden shower. Oh, that's, oh, sorry. So e- I noticed each of you have different different uh, 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 feelings that you feel as you go through to the other bridges. So Hugh, this as I is- said, it's unique to everybody. So for you, Hugh, it's more of kind of a nausea. Maybe I might have diarrhea kind of feeling. Oh yeah. Uh, for Corporal Thirteen, it's more of like a oh, the you know the the uh, the heavens open up. So well, I didn't I, I didn't say I didn't get uh, the feeling of diarrhea. Oh, you do. Oh, okay. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. I oh, see what hey, you're saying. Yeah, that's the one thing. That's that's the uh, 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 chimeric interdimensional bowel transfer. Oh, it's, it's not. It's not <laughs> pleasant. It's not uh, pleasant. It's the bowel transfer. Perfect. You know, uh, they keep talking about their their bridges. Uh, we haven't exactly been able to nail down a way we end up coming through in this in this like terrifying city uh what is it new jersey yeah there's some bridge in new jersey that we get across it's ter- that place is just terrifying it's just filled with people oh, I... that just exclusively eat at tj tji fridays wait your jersey the same like that too no, all jerseys are the same jersey. The jersey okay, here is okay. just wait, 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 wait. Let's there. confirm this. Kurt, what is your jersey like? Uh, it's, uh, I think I've driven through, I think I went through it once and it seemed all right. Strip malls. I think TGI I saw some Fridays. Strip uh, There was a TGI Friday on every corner. Dear on God. every corner. Every single this corner. Is a, this is a scientific breakthrough. Every single bridge has a terrible New Jersey. Yes. This is a breakthrough. <laughs> I mean, oh, look at wow. this. We, we, we Everything's legal in New Jersey. Man alive. So do you guys ever think that there's ever going to be a, a, a uh, what is that called? A truce, a truce between you guys where you, you go, okay, let's put our brilliant minds together and let's, you know, let's use our discoveries here. Let's use your discoveries. Let's go together and just break on through to the other side. These individuals are terrible, horrible people. The only way we choose with them is if we were able to get rid of them first. One of these <laughs> days we're going to bring them to their knees and, you know, they'll come back to the fold. So, so, so Corporal 13, you're saying the only way you could trust them is if you got rid of them first. Is that what hey! you said? They are the direct opposite of everything that we are. The, you know, the yin and yang, right? The yin and yang. Yeah. Nah, except they're not necessary. Well, we don't have a yin and a yang. It's more like a yang and a yang. So what, what, so which, well, so one of you would be the yang and one of you would be the yin. I, I would say probably Corporal 13, which one is that? He's got the, he's just got the little, the little black spot in the white area usually the uh like chris torch folks is kind of very dark yeah this makes sense but, you, but you have some white. white you're, you're they're all black and white. white they have no color over there oh there's no we have color. color it's like yellow oh that's right because he lives at, yeah they're in the yellow all oh, right okay so a little bit so... of green thrown in black and white and yellow oh. that's it yeah. oh it's like, a, it's like an old monochrome screen like a what, like a, like a sepia tone kind of. I mean, like so. Everywhere you're looking, it's just sort of like this, this yellowish, monochromatic world. Yeah. Well, you guys ever heard of that guy on your? Uh, you guys have him over there, uh, the artist Andre Serrano. I'm not sure. Come on, he's the he's the guy that did the Metallica album covers. Oh, he is. Yeah, you know, you like load, but he did that really famous piece. It's huge. It's so venerated here in, on Zorch. It's the one where he peed in the aquarium with the uh, religious symbol in it. He did that. Yeah. Oh, I he's like, that. yeah, he's our ambassador of arts here on Zorch. Interesting. So the guy who did the Metallica album covers, he's the guy. I remember hearing about that in the news all the time. Urinated into a into a into a jar there's a cross in there i had no idea he was responsible yeah. for that yeah corporal 13 or janitor or whatever he calls himself he must Our be really, uh, 
janitor. He must be really familiar with it from his animal hus- husbandry, uh, you know. There's classes. no animal husbandry yes, there here. Is. You saw no, that album there cover. There isn't. You know what's on that album cover. If you don't, I'm not going to bother, you know, like, boring you with it. You can look at yeah, it. I've never, seen that called album cover. Load. I've never seen that album cover before. Oh, you guys don't have Metallica? Is oh, it called we do Tinsley have Metallica. I've just, we do Let's have Metallica. See. I've just never seen their, their album cover. I've yeah, their seen. version is called uh, Tinfoilica. <laughs> Tinfoilica. No, it's Metallica. Tinfoilica. Tinfoilica actually would be great. Wow. That would be interesting if that was like a little kid's little kids tribute band to Metallica. It's just little kids playing Metallica songs. That'd on be pretty bridge, cool. uh, yeah, on that bridge, one, we still what's have that, that one Beatles. ancient torture device you guys have? It's called a, a recorder. Just an all-child recorder. Metallica. Wait a minute. The Let me ask you this. You know device. what? I never have this opportunity. Uh, Hugh, was Christchurch responsible for creating the recorder? Don't tell anyone. I knew it. Yeah, we went back to when those people used to wear tights and beards and lived in castles, and we just planted it there, hoping that one day every third grader would be and forced every, to every, play one. Everyone was Errol Flynn. Wait, Errol Flynn? Hi. It sounds like a car. It does. The yeah. Errol, Errol Flynn. Uh, Kurt, can I ask you a question? How many helicopter pilots did you have to murder to find those headphones? Oh my gosh, these these little babies, these are still back from the 70s. These are my dad's original headphones. Uh, he got back when he was in the Air Force, when he was in Vietnam. So this has been, these have been, these little babies have been in the family. And it's so great, man, when you have your ears completely, I got the old cord here and everything. It's just a bit, it's a, man, it's so good, so good. Yeah, I, I just take two bass subwoofers and strap it into my head with a rubber band. That's what I've got for monitoring here. Well, I the think best technology. are very nice. I'm surprised that I was able to get through on this call. I mean, uh, our technology kind of petered out at one point because these idiots kept stealing everything. Oh, geez. So yeah. I'm dialing in on a 56K Bob modem. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All the one that makes there. the screeching noises. Yeah, all the screeching. Yeah, we've got this great company over here called uh, AOL. Oh, yeah, AOL. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Such so a good... It's the peak of technology. Yeah. Oh, sure. yeah. Aye, that's, mm. that's correct. Yeah, yeah. So that's interesting. So Fre- so Corporal 13, you have MySpace. Do you also have Friendster over there? Uh, We have Friendster. It's not as popular as MySpace. Uh, and we do have Twitter as well. I actually have Twitter. It's called Twatter. I uh, sure. And then, <laughs> and then Hugh, you have Facebook. Yeah. But you don't have MySpace, or do you? Uh, we, you know, we made we made them take it over on their bridge. What's we interesting? Well, we didn't take it over. It's always been here. Yeah. I uh, see. I think on your bridge isn't. MySpace, not you, janitor. Uh, isn't MySpace just a, a rolling or a, a constantly looping GIF of tumbleweed? I think it is now. Yeah. yeah. At this yeah. point, it's just going and going. Yeah. I, I saw it one time. It was just the sound of like old hawks in a desert sun and oh, tumbleweed. Yeah. 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 Uh, that's our design. Um, when we're done with stuff, we usually just. I mean, you guys are our junkyards, so. Oh, I got you. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So the red bridge is the junkyard. So how do you how do you get? No, no. Everyone else but Zorch is the dumping ground. Oh, I see. Everyone. I think they're so much better than everyone else, but really, they just think the opposite of everything that we think. So in reality, they're saying they're trash. Oh no. like to whatever, she, like whatever you say bounces off me and sticks to you, kind of thing. Aye, aye, aye. Yeah, yeah, that level of maturity. So Zorch, so now I'm starting to think. Okay, so you live in a yellow bridge. You live in the yellow bridge, and you're you're on Zorch. So that just that just means that Zorch is is the yellow bridge. So that just means that if we figure out whoever figures out how to get to that through that yellow bridge, they'll find their way to Zorch. I'm sure. Yeah, I mean for the most part. 
But you, you have don't to want fight. to go there. You don't want to go there. Oh, you can. It's, you know, it's, you guys have something the equivalent. It's as bad as here. I think it's called Tampa. It's about as highbrow as that place. Mm. Everybody What's wants to come here on vacation if they can. What's Tampa? Tampa. Um, it's that uh, phallus shaped state on his bridge. We have Florida, but I've never heard of a Tampa, Florida. Yeah, Tampa. Oh, yeah, you guys have one called Tampon, not Tampa. Oh, no, right? it's not called Tampon uh, either. Yes, it is. Don't you see the kind of maturity so he has? You see the kind of maturity he has. So, what kind of new missions? What kind of new uh, things are brewing right now that you guys, you know, that maybe you'd like to let people know about that are coming up? You know, that that they need to watch out for. For instance, I noticed there's a YouTube channel. Um, when I went in, when I typed in Chris Dorch, there was a uh, what did it say? LS? No, 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 no. What did it say? No, oh, I got LSI from you, Peter Schwartz. Um, Oh, you're talking about our tabloid, right? The uh, ZFT. Yeah, is, is that what it is? ZFT. It's oh, like shoot. That. Well, Trash when TV. I look up Chris, Chris, Chris Dorch, there was there was a YouTube and it sh and it showed like it took me to your site. It took me to the Chris Dorch site. Um, ah, damn, what was it? It was like started with an S. I want to say S. Oh, Sigma. Yeah. Is that what it was? It might have been that. I think so. Sigma. Yeah. I'm not in so, charge of the TV stuff. I'd have to oh. talk to uh, the other guy down the hall. Um, yeah, we have a news station. We also have like a tabloid magazine. They're pretty good. One of our guys just like, uh, from what I understand, we, well, I can't go into too much detail, but we've exposed some stuff on our tabloid channel. How do people get to your tabloid channel? They don't. Oh, they don't. They just wonder and hope that one day they'll get there. <laughs> I got you. I got you. So it's kind of like the anticipation. You know? Yeah. Trust us. There's a well, lot of cool stuff on there that you really want to know about. Maybe you'll get to it. Yeah. Meanwhile, the good guys, the yeah. Oh, society, yeah. society, we oh, are yeah. working on the spread of entity flow throughout all of the bridges. We are creating, exploring, and we are doing all sorts of community beautification now that this dreadful virus is starting to pass over us. So as we are beginning our transition back into physical uh, interactions in our areas, we are beginning experiences of entity flow and insouciant energy. Ooh. We are creating, exploring, and beautifying all that we can in our respective bridges. Insouciant. I heard you say insouciant on a couple of occasions. Um, does that, is that at all tied in with sort of a Susian? Philosophy, like Dr. Seuss? Is that what you mean when no, you say it's Seussiant? No, no. no it's that one Phil Collins song. Phil Collins song, what do you mean? In Sue Sue Studio? Right? Ah, oh yes, oh yeah. No, it's not that dumb pun like that. Oh. In Seussiant is a blessed carelessness of the universe. In Seussiant, I gotta write this it is, it is. It is the way that the In Seussiant is able to traverse this world of woe and desperation. But I find ourselves quite often wondering, what should I do in our, my life? When really, all you need to do is just follow the path that you can find and just go down. Have fun. Don't worry about what's at the end. Worry about the now. Ooh, that's good. That's perfect. Insouciance. That's perfect. My God, no. that's perfect. No, 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 no. It's worry about everything all the time. Is that what you guys do on uh, on uh, on Zorch? You guys uh, yeah, just worry about right. stuff all the time? No, no, we don't worry about anything. The goal is to make you guys worry about everything oh. all the time. No, oh. never worry. We're I'll doing a worry. really good job over on Yes, Zorch. you are doing a great job. You are doing yeah. a great job. Our PR team rocks. They do. Everyone is worrying up a storm over here. Holy cow. Holy cannoli. Well, I'm glad. You guys are going through some type of pandemic or something like that? Oh yeah, and also a, a, a an artistic renaissance from what I've discovered. I mean, it's interesting because this has really given people a big choice as to whether they want to keep pining for a future time when things will get better, or if they, like you were saying, Corporal 13, okay, I have this moment right now, I am here with myself, wherever I go, there I am, as the old phrase goes. 
So what am I going to do right now to make myself, uh, you know, how am I going to entertain myself? Am I going to have a good time? Am I going to laugh? Am I going to talk to good people? So during this whole time, I've just been like, cr like a creative, like crazy, oh creating a whole bunch of stuff. I'm like this, I'm just going to create. And uh, wow, it just unlocks it through, all these possibilities. So that you're doing okay. lots of macaroni art? Just the most, yeah, most of macaroni art. Oh, yeah. You macaroni see macaroni art's very something. nice. I like the yeah. macaroni art. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. The only thing, the most important thing we need to know at any given time yes. is what to do next. Mm hmm. That's well, true. What Kurt's going to do is going to do a life size Mac art piece of, of uh, what's that? B. Arthur. Oh, yeah. B. Arthur. Yeah. Oh, B. Arthur. Yeah, yeah, you know, hot macaroni. stuff. Hot stuff. Yeah. And that's what it'll say from the Golden Girls stuff. era. Absolutely, and then maybe it'll be a neon, like neon hot stuff, and it'll be the B. Yeah. Arthur, all a macaroni, just covered in gold glitter. Oh yeah, yeah. oh yeah. I'll just yeah. I'll just put it up like late at night on the side of a building to cause all these question marks in people's brains, well, that and they won't even fabulous. realize that it started here. It all started that's here. Because right. oh, we gosh. start everything at Chris Torch. We start everything. I mean, except for LSI, but. Uh, maybe one day we'll tell that story. I'm in a stream with weirdos. LSI. Boy, oh boy. Yeah, let's hope that that story is one day told because it sounds very curious. LSI. I'm, I can only imagine what the heck that even stands for. LSI. Lazy Suckers Incorporated. Ooh. Is that it? Is that it, Hugh? Lazy it's Suckers initi Incorporated? It's initiative. It's initiative. It's not incorporated. It's a oh, cooperative initiative. thing. Lazy Suckers Initiative. initiative. Yeah. The Lazy Suckers Initiative. Oh, my yeah. God. There it is. It's a, co it's a collaborative effort. Yeah. If we were to incorporate, you'd put this hierarchy in place, and then it would just, you know, it would s squash that creative see, ability to be as lazy see, as possible. He's, he's, see, he's worried about initiatives and incorporations. Honestly, the Virus British Society, what a cult. Mm-hmm. We're a cult, but we're a fun cult. We're like the best cult you could possibly ever join because we're a cult for good. Well, you know, what's so interesting, this this thought came to me the other day. I realized, like, okay, so the word cult is a part of culture. So when someone says, oh, that's my culture, it's just a bigger cult, if you think about it. Every every culture starts as a cult. It starts with a few people, and they go, okay, well, these are gonna these are going to be the songs we sing. These are going to be the dances we do. This is going to be the language we speak. This is going to be the food. Here are some of these, you know, cook this up. And then it just grows and grows and grows into a, until it becomes a culture you know, and or a, I don't know, a town or a, a country, but it's like, you know, before you know it, it grows big enough. So you guys, before you know it, you're going to be the, I would say Chris Dorr, uh, will be a culture, right? Yeah, it's a bacterial be, yeah, culture. Yeah, 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 you. <laughs> Back to, yeah, active cultures, right? You'll yeah. be very active. So I was thinking about this, the LSI Lazy Suckers uh, Initiative. It's interesting because, you know, there's that phrase that says misery loves company. Well, laziness loves company, too. So I think this this is probably going to be a very successful initiative. A lot, lazy people like to be lazy with other lazy people. Oh, so, LSI has been dead for years. Oh, uh, like timeline. oh, but, you know, time is relative. That's true. That's true. My goodness. Well, are there any other things you guys want to promote or anything i'm going to tie up the podcast here because i have some food i got to cook up here um i would inform your audience if they do wish to learn more about the virus bridge society and christ or inc do not i repeat do not go to christorinc.com do not click the tab that says join vbs if you have social media do not follow at corp 13 and do not follow cries torch but that's an actual do not follow too they have a twitter and it's terrible yeah i agree don't follow us i mean we're on twitter but that's purely because you know bots wait so chris torch is on twitter what which, oh yeah which twitter is that that you don't want people to follow on twitter why the do hell would I tell follow, you? Do not follow Christ on Twitter. I'm sure you can find it. Use your, uh, what is it, Google? Mobile? It's mobile. Oh, Google, sorry. Oh, yeah, mobile. You know all about Googles with your Google glasses. The Googles. They're Googles. 
janitor goggles. No, I I think uh, you know I think I'm done. I can get the hell out of here. How about you? Yes, you get out of here. You this is supposed um, to be my I've told interview. You a million times, you're not my dad. You can't tell me what to do. <laughs> I'm a corporal. All right, get out of here, janitor. Don't you have some some uh, horse poop to shovel? You you leave. You leave. I'm waiting for the podcast to end that I was a part <laughs> of. All right, y'all. All I want to say is. Uh, have a great day and uh you know screw you guys oh thank you so much for stopping by my god you guys i had so much fun i had so much fun you know he means that you know you know he meant have a good day as an insult oh oh i got you i got you he's not used to giving niceties like that right well no it's it's just how they talk in on zorch oh oftentimes so it's like backward speech he says have a nice day he's really telling you to go to hell that's great, man. You cracked the code. Well, Corporal 13, thank you so much. I'm so excited we got a chance to talk about uh, Chris Dorr, Varel's Bridge Society, all of that razzmatazz, all that great stuff. And definitely, folks, go to ChrisDorrInc.com and check out Grandview Boulevard. This will open up a whole nother can of worms. Also, I would say check out some other some other good movies that are just really good to watch just in general. In Bright Axiom, which is actually playing here at the Kapow Intergalactic Virtual Film Festival. Uh, also, uh, the Institute, which is about the Jejun Institute. That's another great movie to watch. And uh, and a great podcast that I like listening to is Signal, S-Y-G-N-Y-L. There's there's a lot more other stuff out there, but these these are these are so, some good uh, movies to watch. And you'll start putting some more pieces together, I think. Right, Corporal 13? People will start having lots of yeah, revelations. I believe I so. One thing I can tell your audience if they do decide to watch these is that uh, expect to leave with more questions than answers. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. Corporal 13, thank you so much. You take care. I'll talk to you again in, uh, another time. In Sayonara. Bright Axiom. Oh, and, yes. Uh, in Bright Axiom and in Absolute Dictum. Absolutely. In Bright Axiom. In bright axiom, and what'd you say, absolute dictum? An absolute dictum. An absolute dictum.